extremely nice weather as we get ready to have the starting pistol. 170 riders off. The Italians on the right, the Spanish right behind them, the French, everybody out on course right now. Now, the most dangerous part of the beginning of this race, because there is such a big field, and this is kind of narrow streets, windy and twisty, plus for many of these riders, they are learning the course as they go around it for the first time. So there is a bit of danger because it's very nervous. So you have a Russian and the Colombian. Now the Italian's starting to react. And there goes the Colombian on the right-hand side of the road, getting a good angle for this turn as he jumps out. Now they're back into the cycling stadium, the Mape Cycling Stadium. The start and finish of the race. They're inside the final 400 meters. Who is going to be the best sprinter from this group? He that is going to decide the race. He took off a long ways out. Look at the gap he had. The Italian can't close it. The Italians are toast. Gautier is waiting. The, everybody else is waiting for the Italians. They can't do it. He took off from way out, and he's had a good chance of holding them off. Well, I tell you what, Rui Costa, the Portuguese rider, trying to make a move, but they may have waited too long. Can he hold it? Yes, it looks like he is going to do it. Aravalo from Colombia. The 22-year-old wins a world title in Varese. Costa on the side there, a little bit too late. They would have done it a little bit earlier because they would have eliminated for him from winning. Of course, it worked out perfectly for the Colombian, but Ponzi very upset because look how fast. He wins the sprint easy, coming up on him extremely fast, and not many opportunities you get to win a world championship, and what he realizes right there is that Arivalo took it right away from him. So Fabio Arivalo wins the gold. 